Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. I think we're about to start the proving which we have been training for almost our whole lives ever since we were a little girl and we fell in that cave. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and climb down here and talk to Rost. Alright, let's see what he has to say. Last night, we killed our first Sawtooth. That was fun. Are you ready? Yes. We're more ready than we've ever been. Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Home is with you, Look Ross. For High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There'll be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was at the tribe. Something tells me Aloy is not going to integrate well into the tribe. She seems to enjoy her, um, her life out here with Ross too much. Are you sure they're going to let me in? <sighs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I don't think I have as much faith as Rost do does. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Are you kidding me, Ross? You're just running away? Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. Oh, this is so sad. We're gonna find him. No. It's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you. This is so tragic. Okay, so we're gonna win the proving and then we're gonna go find yeah, Rost. Go. For now. First the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. Sounds like a plan. Here we go. You will turn back outcast. Or bleed. 
Your choice. How do we tell them Make we have way. the right to Make compete? Way. Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. Did she just you break her rule us. by talking to Tirsa? But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? That's a friendly priestess. My experience, the other priestesses have not been so friendly. Are we allowed to talk to other people? I don't think so. Ooh, look. Fun. Let's dance. Woohoo! Getting ourselves excited and ready. Who are we um talking to? Oh. It's you, isn't it? Do I know this guy? Where do I know this guy from? Isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. Oh, that guy. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Aw, I like this guy. That's really nice of him. Okay. Um, so we can buy this one for free. We can also buy some other ones. Can I afford all of these? Okay, Nor Brave. A new Nora's Braves armor, stitched by Teb, accentuated by Aloy's own designs. Offers no extra protection, but can be upgraded. Okay, so it doesn't do anything extra, but it does have an upgrade slot. Nora Survivor Light, rigged for endurance and protection against all the elements. This armor is well tested against the extremes of the sacred land. Nora Silent Hunter Light. Sits for stealth. This outfit makes the wearer harder to see and hear. Nora Protector Light. Uh, reinforced for the front of the war party. This metal casing breastplate uh, protects against melee attacks. Okay, hopefully we're not going to get um, attacked melee so, so many times. We could buy this... Um, Silent Hunter medium armor. It's gonna cost us 200 metal shards, which I only have 90 of, so... Maybe I just take the light silent armor. The light hunter silent armor. Okay, um... Sure, we'll equip it. F equip. Okay. We're looking cool with our new Nora Brave armor. Um, I do want to buy this. Okay. Yeah, I think we like this better. But I wanted to make sure we take this because he was so kind to offer it. Um, now, can I sell um, anything to get some more shards? Maybe I should have seen if I could get 200 shards to sell. Um... But oh well, we, we can buy that nice armor later. There. Try it on whenever you feel like it. 
Thank you, Teb. Thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Excuse Every me, what does that mean? offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. An angry Tirsa mob? said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. All right. So tensions are high because Karja's coming to visit. We're probably not helping the situation at all by being here either. Hmm. All right. Well, we've got our new stealth armor. Let's see if I can upgrade it at all. Uh, we can unlock a new skill too. While aiming, toggle with left shift to slow down time. Light spear attacks have an increased chance to knock off armor and components. Hopefully we'll, we don't want to get to spear attacks too often. Um, this is melee. Critical hits deal more damage. Again, that's melee. Light spear attacks. Okay, so the first thing that we might be interested in this, we can notch an additional arrow, so this is both. So we really just want to go down this tree, if at all possible. Move faster while wielding a heavy weapon. That's not going to be that useful for us, but we might go down this tree a little bit. Use ranged weapons while balancing on ropes. Time slows while aiming during a jump or slide. What are our foragers? Speeds up healing from the medicine pouch. Additional natural resources when forging. I think we should get this. We're always short on wood. Ridgewood. Alright. I think we might be ready. Let's sit down. Oh. We're just watching the performance. Nice. All right, cool. We've had our fill, though. I am a little bit too nervous to be enjoying this performance. Jog, get down from there. Bat it up, you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? That's funny. Listen Little kids climbing all over the place. You'll have to tell this now. when I'm gone. Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head. From all mother. People Look at all the cute little kids. Beasts. All were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort Mother's heart. This is a pretty big settlement. <gasps> hey, Karst. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. This is a change of attitude. Every time we've seen him before, he's just like, what do you want? So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All right. All right. Let's, let's see if we this. can buy anything from Karst. Does he have any new, um... Does he have any new things? Rope caster. Used to tie down machines and immobilize them. This might be worth getting at some point. We just need, let's see, 35 more metal shards to buy this. Does he offer any um, armors? He does offer the Nora Silent Hunter medium armor. Hmm. This just gives us 20 stealth instead of 10 stealth. Um, we have the watcher lenses. The metal shards are gonna be the thing that's gonna break us. 
Well, um... Let's see, what can we sell that might be worth 200? I don't think there's anything that we can sell that's gonna be worth that much. I don't think we have enough resources, nearly enough resources. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna to get to 200, so we don't need to bo bother right, with then. any of this. Time to go. Good we're happy with tomorrow, what we have. Aloy. Can I put a uh, armor upgrade in? That's what I was going to do originally. Um, inventory, outfits, um, crafting, modify outfits. Let's modify the silent hunter light. F modify. F select. All right, we can have 8% resist shock or 7% resist corruption. Why don't we take the 8% resist shock? Or do we want to wait for something more relevant? Because I don't think we've been shocked that often. Shock isn't really that relevant. I'd rather take like resistance to physical damage. I think that's the better option. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. The Karja people. For two years, we have been at peace with the Karja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. 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 <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Arden. and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance of Hold your fruit, nor if, uh, nor if faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azuram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology, straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Wow, that crowd was easy to win over. Hey, thank you. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude, written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance. Who's that guy? Line. Is anyone gonna be suspicious about our ear device? Just like mine. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. I know, aren't we gonna get in trouble for wearing this? Says I'm like other Nora. Why? Oh, yeah. I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Ah, uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn, you making friends with locals, are we? I'll. I'll come back. Wait. No. Ah, uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. Something's off the about this. That Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. Huh, something suspicious about this guy. Um, the way that he, when he came over, Olin just had to run away. Maybe they're using these devices to kind of exert control over people. 
I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? Hmm. We've got questions for you. I wanted to you. ask you something else. If you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. Hmm. Okay. I'm pretty sure I already know what the deal is with these raids. The previous Karja people were raiding us for slaves and blood and I stuff. I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? I mean, were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? No. Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Interesting. So these Karja people are like British, and they s they seem much more like um, like a well-developed society, I guess. So what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united have a Karja kingdom. rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the son sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. That sounds pretty great. Asaram freebooters. Who are the Asaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. All right. Um, do we want to know about his sister? Sure. Let's exhaust all the dialogue options. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. Okay. Um, I'm gonna not take that as an insult. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous Yeah, let's learn year. about this derangement. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. Interesting. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines... Well, they aren't telling. Okay, that explains a lot. Because I thought that the the machines were supposed to spook 
and run away when they detected you, like the Watchers and the Striders, but it seems like they just go default straight into attacking now, and I thought that was just the game making a mistake and kind of like being inconsistent, but it seems like there's actually uh, a canon reason for it. Um, the machines are becoming more aggressive. Um, so that's very interesting. Um, I bet you there's a person behind these new machines that are being created and someone who's behind controlling all the machines. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. Well, take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. I hope we get to go to Meridian. Alright. Let's see Just what he has to Meridian. say about Meridian. What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. All right, Errand. We will go. I want to ask we get you a about chance. something you said before. Ask away. Um, okay, we asked all our questions. Who is that guy that we were just talking to? Why did he run away? What else do you know about Owen? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Hmm, something suspicious about that. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down, I doubt yeah, it. Yeah, we're more about yeah, speed and say. stealth. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. All right. I should make my way to the blessing. My pleasure talking to yeah. you, but we have other things. Well, to maybe I shouldn't to. say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what? All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing too so uh, see you around maybe what does he mean look at me is it because we're the only redhead here she's also a redhead kind of I won't deny them the chance I don't know man we could fit in with these people um how do we get around there to the quest marker I think it's down this way. I'm curious to see this city and if it's like more of a modern day city. Where do I go? Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Thanks. Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. For Rost. In honor of Rost. And all 
what you did to help me get here. Oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. Poor Aloy. She doesn't have a mother. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Hey, Olin. Where's Olin? Hello. Hello, Olin. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? It must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. Yeah, this All is right. off. Who are you fire? He's not being honest. I got nothing to hide. Yes, you do. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. Hmm. When we what spoke happened? earlier, you went. Is that gonna happen to us? It looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You need to get a better one. Should we call him out? Let's not directly call him out. I don't want to piss off this guy. Mine's never malfunctioned. And I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape then. I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> what are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. Hmm. Seems like Erend was telling the truth. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. Are they planning something horrible? Are they planning to like massacre the Nora tribe tomorrow or something? That's, that's the vibes I was picking up from what he just said. Make every day count. Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Don't know what's gonna happen. Something, something bad's going down. All right, let's head here. I'm having a nice chuff. What did you say? Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Wow, that guy's not very nice. I think we should oh, drop it this though. Is this the bed house? With you standing guard, I figured it was the latrine. You're you're very present here. <laughs> well, well, look who's come in from the wild—the motherless outcast. 
I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Oh, now this is that guy? Memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. All right. Let's meet the other teenagers. They seem very immature. Here's your prayers anyway. Are you gonna let Boss talk to you that way? No. Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, Outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart, and you definitely don't belong in the proving. Sounds like you're not mature enough to be a man, so I don't think you're gonna win this proving. All right, should we try to be compassionate or should we try to kind of be sassy? Let's be the bigger woman. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Not as strong as us. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body, kind of, but down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. Hmm. You know, it up. I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. What I remember is how the other children saw that you were a monster. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast, not me. Oh, are you going to shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. <laughs> Good one. Good one, Aloy. All right. We can talk to Vala. Nice she seems job nice. handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost. You or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Your she, right she's there nice, but she, okay. she does want to win. Thanks. That's fair enough. All right. Well, I say we get some rest and we get ready for this proving. So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never it's slept not in all we Nora dreamed it to be. Before. Not very private. Too soft. Let's not insult the tribe on our first day here. It has certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. Do we need to win the proving or just complete the proving? I think we might only need to complete the proving to become a brave, not win it. So maybe the pressure's not on to beat her. I wouldn't mind losing to her, but I would mind lo losing to Boss. All right, here we go. Starting off with some gentle rock climbing. Alright boss, we get it. You're cool. Or you think you are. Braves! Ready yourselves! What will it take to get you out of here? Oh, it's that guy.
gotta heal up. go. This is a little bit chaotic. There we go. Take it. Loot my trophy. Really, boss? <laughs> Your trophy is shattered, Outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Well, if we're not going to hold it up to the sky next time. Where do I get one? Go to the start of the Brave Trail. Oh, we're behind. Oh, boss is gonna get it. If he's playing dirty, we might have to play dirty too. Slow and steady now. All you need is to finish. That makes all but one. Is the outcast coming? Oh yeah, we are. She was behind me. Yeah, we're coming. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Oh, shut up. Boss will win, Irvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! We're too cool for that. It doesn't get any easier. You're insane to go that way! Insane? Or no smart? Now. Right there. Turn around. I can't see! Boss, go follow that There we go. Come on now. The abandoned trail, let's go. Faster, stop dragging. Here we go. I've gotta keep going. The outcast. On the other trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Look. The outcast is catching up. How'd she get up there? By being cooler than you, that's how. This is gonna be close. Whoa. That is not the safe way to rappel down. Keep at it. Come on, Aloy. First place. Come on, you can run faster. I've trained my whole life for this. Maybe yes, we have. But I had the wild precision. Not enough. Must be. Perfect. 
Let's go. Come on, come on, you can make it. Can't let them beat me now. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're gonna have to do it all again. In this world, Aloy just proved them all right by going on the dangerous trail and then getting yourself killed. Made it. Come on now, hurry. Keep at it. All right, we're not gonna do that again. Oh boy, it's <laughs> jumping off the cliff. I thought we were jumping onto the zip line. All right, let's go. Come on, Aloy, you gotta be faster. I my whole life for this. They had a tribe, but I had the wilds. Yeah, Precision. wilds are better than a tribe. Must be perfect. All right, up, 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 up. Here we go. All right, let's try this again. Come on, come on, you can make it. Can't let them beat me now. There we go. Look, we caught up. First place. She didn't win. The outcast cheated. An outcast win the proving? Never. For she is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among us. Uh oh. Is this Karja? Come on, Aloy. Don't just stand around. Let's do something about it. Keep them pinned down till the others arrive. We can't stay here. That's the way out. But we will make it under fire. They can't shoot if they're dead. Keep them busy. I'll find an angle. Fast! Fast! Are you with us? I'm with you! Let's go. Now! 